Hello ChemCom. The last time we were together we started to take a look at solubility. Today we're going to take a look at how to mathematically calculate how concentrated a solution is. Let's get started. Just to review, remember a solution is a combination of a solute, which is the thing that's dissolved, and a solvent, which is the thing that does the dissolving. Most of the time in chemistry class the solvent is water and then the solute is some type of chemical. The concentration then is defined as the ratio of solute to solvent. If we would call a solution concentrated, that would mean there would be a lot of solute. Think of like a really strong lemonade or Kool-Aid that has a lot of sugar dissolved into it. A dilute solution would be something with low amounts of solute. Think watered down lemonade, something that's not very strong. But concentrated and dilute are kind of relative terms. If we want to mathematically calculate how strong a solution is, we would need to use a formula like molarity. Molarity is a term that compares the moles of solute over the liters of solution. And it lets scientists and chemists know how concentrated a solution is. When we use acid in lab, you may have noticed a big capital M next to a number on the bottle. That's telling you the concentration or molarity of that acid. So now that we've had with this equation, let's try some example problems. This is what is the molarity of a solution made by 3.4 moles of NaCl and 1.7 liters of water. So just remember, molarity, capital M, equals moles of solute over liters of solvent. So my solute is 3.4 moles of NaCl and 1.7 liters of water. So if I do that math, we would be able to see that this would work out to 2 molar. We would say that this solution is 2 molar, or has a molarity of 2. Here's another problem, but it's a little more difficult. Notice that my solute is in grams and my solvent is in milliliters. What that means is, is we have to convert. So to go from milliliters to liters, it would be 1.5 liters because we'd move the decimal 1, 2, 3 to the left. Remember, the solvent has to be in liters. That's what molarity is. Then we need to convert grams to moles. That means we need to divide by our molar mass. So if you look here in this problem, we've taken the 47.5 grams. We've divided by the molar mass of NaOH. That means we took a sodium, an oxygen, a hydrogen, their masses on the periodic table, we added them all up, and it was 40. And that gave us 1.19 moles. Now I can take my 1.19 moles, I can divide by the liters of my solvent, and I get 0.79 molar. So some of these problems might have additional steps. You need to make sure you have moles of solute and liters of solvent. All right, one more type of equation we're going to look at here. This is something that Mr. Hess uses all the time when he's preparing acids and bases and other solutions in lab. It's when you dilute a solution. This is when you take something that's concentrated and water it down or dilute it so that it's not as strong. When we order acids from a chemical supply company, they're very concentrated, very strong. And we don't use those in lab because they can be dangerous. So what I do is I water them down or dilute them so that they're safe to use and they're appropriately concentrated for the experiments that we're doing. Think of this equation as a before and after. So what we do is we take the molarity and the volume before and then we're going to compare it to the molarity and the volume after. And then we're going to compare it to the molarity and the volume after. So if I know what molarity I'm trying to get to, this equation will tell me the volume of the acid I should have at the end. So in this situation, we have 12 molar carbonic acid. That's a very strong acid, potentially very dangerous. And I need to make 0.25 liters of acid with a concentration of 5.5. So what we do here is we would label this as M1. These two numbers go together, so this would be V2 and M2. So remember, M1V1 equals M2V2. So M1 is 12 times V1, which I don't know. And I'm looking for 5.5 molar, and I need a quarter or 0.25 liters of that. So now in order to solve for V1, I'm going to divide both sides by 12. And it gives me the amount of 0.115 liters. So now I know how much of the 12 molar acid I need in order to dilute it appropriately. 
and I can subtract my two volumes to know how much water I need to add to get to that place. So what I would do is put 0.115 liters of the 12 molar acid in a beaker, and then I'd add enough water to get to 0.25 liters, and it would be 5.5 molar. Those are really the only two types of equations we wanted to go over today, but they're really important for calculating concentration of a solution. Try some practice problems. Let me know if you have questions. We'll see you soon.